Good morning and welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another, it's been a while. It's been a while, but it's just, you're just in time for another campground video, an experiential video. We're at McKinney Falls State Park, right in the heart of Austin. Go figure, this beautiful Texas State Park. <laughs> so you have some downsides when your state park is in the inside a city's city limits. And one is we're not too far from the airport. So we get to listen to planes taking off and landing. Uh, two, there's lots of road noise and emergency vehicles. Three, we're just across the way from uh, the Austin PD training facility. So there's, there's lots of stuff going on that you hear. On the upside, this is, this is a beautiful Texas State Park. Right now, I don't even remember, I think we're in number eight. Yeah, we're in number eight. Site number eight. So they pull through site, 30 amp and water. It's laid out weird. It's not as level as it looks. You can see we run downhill about six inches. We have the big transformer <laughs> right in. And this site is laid out. This, this is one of the weirdest layout sites that I've been. Really strange the way this is laid out. So the, the pull through is, is here. That's the most level spot on the pad. That's our picnic table, our fire ring, and our tent pad. But that's another pull through site. And their table's over there. Which, so, it's just weird the way that's <laughs> laid, laid out. When we pulled up here, it's like, well, is that our table or is that their table? Because that... Anyway. We're supposed to have some sunshine tomorrow. So we'll be going to see the stuff in the, with the sun shining. Because we've got blue bonnets. Ah. Uh, it's, this is a beautiful park. Uh, we'll check in on that tomorrow. Meanwhile, because we're going to be in three different sites, here shortly we're going to be packing up and moving to the next site. So I'll cut back in with that site. And then we'll go see some stuff. Stay tuned. Stuff to come. The weather's just gotten even grayer and wetter. It's actually supposed to be clearing out sometime late this afternoon. We have relocated. We are in site number five. That's a good looking site right there. It's way better than being right next to the trail to the bathroom. And it was much easier getting level on this site. I didn't have to pull out any, any blocks whatsoever. It is asphalt, as are all the sites here. Tent pad right there. Which is not a bad thing. If if you were going to be here on an extended basis and you had a screen shelter or something, you could take advantage of that. Bit of an uphill slope to the picnic table. We have a wooden picnic table on a concrete pad. Fire ring. And we are going to be camping in style because we got the ubiquitous lantern hook. Site number eight didn't have a lantern hook. So if lantern hooks are important to your camping experience, you might want to think twice about site number eight. A much better patio view than we had at number eight. We do have a little further to go for the dumpster and the showers, because we're, we're not using the onboard shower facilities because we'd have to dump. Here's Dude RV trivia tidbit. The idea for the scooter tour videos came to me when we were pulling in to McKinney Falls State Park with that Sunset Trail 
big 36 foot long travel trailer and I was making this curve and well, I, there was there was another RV coming and there just wasn't an, I, I shouldn't have come this way with that big long trailer uh, unexpected without knowing if, if I'd have known I could have set it up a little different but I found myself in a spot trying to make that long that curve of that long trailer and there was somebody coming this way so now you know that's that's where the whole scooter thing started finally we've got some better lighting so you can see how beautiful and green everything is here at McKinney Falls State Park this is your shower report from McKinney Falls State Park we find these showers in desperate need of some renovation they're looking a little little run down and ragged let's go see some stuff as with a lot of our Texas state parks McKinney Falls State Park has a wood shack vending facility but if you'll notice the wood is all loose now that's that has <laughs> so if you're gonna burn some wood make sure you bring a wagon or something of course i just backed the truck up to it and threw it on, on and threw the wood on the tailgate uh, but some of that wood was two feet long so fortunately i had a saw with me of course i, I still had the the little cordless i had the roy b chainsaw with me so i was able to make them cut them down so they'll fit in the fire pit all right let's let's go see something let's go see some old stuff so here at the dump station it's actually you know there's nothing remarkable about the dump station other than that sign and then there's the blue pole oftentimes the color blue is is identifying potable water and yesterday I saw someone filling their potable water tank with the black tank plus water. Don't do that. If you're gonna be visiting Austin and you're not too excited about sleeping in a hotel room and you don't have an RV and it's too nasty for a tent, they have cabins. These are really nice cabins. Four beds, four twin beds, Looks like they may have a TV and a table. There's a table and a sink. Surely they don't have TV. Nope, it's a desk. So you have a desk so you can work on a computer. I don't know what it costs per night, but you have to bring your own linens. But it's way better than a hotel room. All right, let's go see some more McKinney Falls stuff. If you're looking for a place in the Texas Hill Country to host a family gathering, McKinney Falls State Park has a group dining pavilion. By reservation only. The old fireplace has been blocked up. They don't want, I guess they don't want any cozy fires. I don't know. Now on my last visit to McKinney Falls State Park, they had, and I think they are still doing, some kind of theatrical production for young people. Because I saw uh, one of uh, I saw an actor, someone dressed in character the other day. Not not sure if they're still doing that. I don't even I don't even recall the what what it was called. It was the amphitheater? That was where they were doing the 
the shindig. Let's go check that out. Because I couldn't get down here. It was way too busy. Some kind of Shakespeare in the park kind of production, I think. Not much of an amphitheater. I mean, a couple of picnic tables and a stage. And lots of pretty blue bottles. All right, let's let's go see some more stuff. It's it's a good thing action cameras, GoPros are mostly waterproof. Of course, with the media mod, they're not because the moisture from the sky has returned. And tomorrow, if the sun comes out, I'm gonna come over here and give you a, a much better look at this beautiful, beautiful field of blue bonnets. But for now, we're, we're looking at stuff. The Nature Center at McKinney Falls State Park is only open on the weekends. It looks like they got some cool stuff in there. It's a really cool building. It's a berm building, half underground. It's closed today because it's Tuesday. Let's, let's go see if we can find a waterfall. McKinney Falls are on Onion Creek. They're named McKinney Falls because uh, the Texian settlers that own this property and donated it to the state, that was the McKinney family. This is the lower, I mean the upper falls. And this is a very popular swimming hole during the summer. Or the, the creek is, is kind of low, so the, the falls are not impressive right now. But when they are running full force, they are a sight to behold. Be careful, these, these rocks get slippery. All those, the roots from that cypress tree look like big snakes. You can actually get under the overhang there and get out of the rain. Let's, let's, let's go see some more stuff. In the rain. This is the day use area here at McKinney Falls State Park. Down on Onion Creek. There's lots of places to picnic and hang out. You can actually go down here to the water and fish. There's a, a place up here we can get a little closer without having to get in the mud. So there's a view of Onion Creek. I just saw a Cara Cara. All right. I think I might have to head back and it's starting to rain a lot. This is a first, but I'm sure it's not gonna be the last. But this is the first time I've seen an electric vehicle charging station in a Texas state park. You can only charge an EV. You can't come over here with your motor home, I guess, and set up. People have been living uh, alongside Onion Creek for a very long time, long before the McKinney's moved in. This actually, this, this board actually talks about this cl cliff dwelling. Ancient man resided in these cliffs, in this cliff. Check this out though. The big oak tree 
is growing on top of the limestone. Man, that's cool. Of course, I, I, I doubt it was this flat when the ancient peoples were living here. I don't know. I guess they could have leveled it out some. Keep you dry. I don't know about keeping you warm, but it would definitely it'd be keep you warmer. There's two very extensive day use areas. There's the one down right on the banks of Onion Creek. And then there's the one that I'm exploring now. This is above the rock shelter. I want to see, I want to see that tree. So that, that's, the, there's two trees. Those are the trees that you can see down, down below. I think that's, I think that's fascinating. Sable's getting broke in. This is quite muddy. Let's go find some more stuff. Your visit to McKinney Falls State Park. It's not really going to be complete until you make a, a trip down to the, to the lower falls. It's not that's not very scooter friendly so that's that's about as far as i'm gonna go on sable i ought to push a little red a, a little bit harder very neat rock formations down here now that is just so cool Look at all the turtles It looks like a really deep hole. The Lower Falls. Another very popular summertime swimming hole. spring heavy spring rains flooding rains this is actually all underwater now, there are steel rods set in the stone <clears throat> at one point there was a a dam channeling the water over there for the grist mill here i'll show you i, w I went over there yesterday we're over here at the grist mill so we're on the other side of the falls and they had a dam set up and it diverted water into this channel and spun a wheel. Let's go see the, let's go see the homestead. This is the old rock house. People used to live there. You can read that board if you ever come here. Thomas McKinney. I kind of have a, an etching as to what it looked like in its heyday. And that's what it looks like now. All right, let's go see some more stuff. If you're wanting to take your e-bike on the Homestead Trail, they don't tell you this on the map, but you really can't get across Onion Creek with an electric bike. So you're gonna wanna either ride your bike out the front gate, make a left, go across Onion Creek, make the next left into the Texas Parks and Wildlife headquarters, or you can drive. And there's a parking lot. Here, I, just, I was over there. 
that's McKinney Falls State Park. This is the Texas Parks and Wildlife headquarters. And that's on the other side, the north side of Onion Creek from the gate of McKinney Falls. So at the gate, you would make a left and then cross Onion Creek and make the next left. And I'm telling you all this because if you want to do the Homestead Trail and the water's up or you're going to ride it on a bike, this is how you access it. Is that little building over there, that gate will take you, I mean the Homestead Trail is right there. Now that says that's employee parking over there, which means you're going to want to park over here and make the trek. Now the Homestead Trail actually comes out right there also, so you can pick it up there, or you could walk right there where that red gate is now you know if you want to go the homestead trail and you don't want to wade onion creek texas parks and wildlife headquarters follow the signs for boat registration and that'll take you to this intersection all right let's go see some more stuff so now you know that's how you get over to the homestead trail there's some pretty cool stuff over there If you enjoyed our little visit to McKinney Falls State Park, I sure would be honored if you'd consider, if, if you'd click on that thumbs up. And if you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's, that's why I get to do what I do. Just look at look how beautiful that is. Man, we're so lucky. And for my patrons, I'm most grateful you guys rock! Alright, y'all come back now, you hear?